Episode 2 begins with us joining Dwayne as he meets with his, fam with his family at his son Nick's high school baseball game after the meeting with Gam. Along with his work reputation, Dwayne has built a model brand of his family. His son is a multi-sport athlete with a bright future in athletics, paired with good grades, and his father's great looks. His daughter, Anne, is a popular and tal talented dancer within the local youth troop. His wife works from home and loves to stay active, even building a stout following at the community tennis court. The family does everything together and always supports each other in whatever event someone may be doing. Dwayne's life is quite envious. At the game, Dwayne eventually gets his interaction with Gam off of his mind. Nick is performing ex exceptionally well, and the game is pretty close in score. They are facing their crosstown rivals. As the other team scores to make the game tied, Dwayne nonchalantly scans the visiting team's fan section. Upon looking across, he sees one of his mistresses, a co-worker who is still wearing a company shirt from working earlier. Instantly, he snapped back to his conversation with, with Gam. Nervously, he gets up to get a drink from the concession stand. While in line, he notices his co-worker walk by on her way to the restroom, although she did not see him. Quickly, he buries his face into his phone, hoping neither her nor anyone else around makes the connection between the two of them. He returned to his seat shortly after and refused to look in the direction of the visitor crowd. He felt sick to his stomach, realizing just how critical of a situation he was in. After the game, Nick and a couple of his teammates walked over to socialize with Dwayne and the rest of the family. One of his teammates noticed Dwayne and his wife holding hands, stating his admiration of them as the perfect couple. Nick chimed in as well, saying that he wishes to be as great of a husband to his wife someday. The accolades crushed Dwayne, knowing the facade he may have to expose. On the ride home, he anxiously assesses his current dilemma. Does his family have to bear the ramifications of his inability to stay faithful, or is the data worth preserving the lie? 